So midday, I am having some scrambled eggs. That's what I'm making here, cooked in pork fat. And then I sprinkled on the top of these eggs here, this old Chicago steak spice from the Silk Road in Edmonton, Alberta. And I'm also gonna put um, a slice of Balderson cheese on there and some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I made some gluten-free muffins over the weekend and these are the last of them. Um, there's zucchini and carrot. And then I added a little bit of chocolate chips. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description section. These muffins are amazing. And I have a couple teaspoons of chlorella in here that I have been drinking on this morning, this afternoon, throughout the day. I just finished setting up my weekly bullet journal spread. So it is super basic. So just across the top, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So how I do this is I use this top half. You can see it's cut in half. I use this top half for daily daily to-dos, like what I have to do that day. And then the bottom half I use as random notes, random thoughts that come up, things that have to be executed on, but maybe not exactly that day. It's just, it's a pretty open space for me to just like brain dump onto. Tonight for supper, I am going to make an elk stroganoff and uh, do it with baked spaghetti squash. Okay, I have my spaghetti squash carved out here and I'm going to bake it on a tray. I have the oven preheating at 400 and I will bake it for about half an hour. I have the elk burger frying up here. Okay, so I've scraped the spaghetti squash out into the bowl. This is just my half. My husband already had his half. Um, I added butter to this and salt and pepper and now I'm going to add the elk meat and the stroganoff sauce. And there is the elk meat and the stroganoff sauce. Okay, I have three teaspoons of chlorella in here, which is equal to seven grams of chlorella, just filled with water here. And now I'm gonna blend it up in my Ninja and then drink this throughout the day. Hi guys, this morning I am making some breakfast bowls from this cookbook, Paleo Indulgences by Tammy Credicott. Um, breakfast biscuit bowls are called. I've never done these before. I'll show you a picture, something like this. I'm gonna do these biscuits. I'm gonna use the, this recipe for the biscuits, but not for the filling. I'm gonna do my own thing for the filling. I am going to double this batch of these biscuits so that I can have some on hand. I always feel like if I'm gonna make the mess, which cooking from scratch does make a mess and makes lots of dishes. So if I know that the recipe is gonna work, I'll just double it so that I have some on hand. I don't 100% know that the recipe is going to work because I've never actually done this one, but I feel quite confident. I've done a lot of gluten-free baking and cooking, so I'm quite confident I know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and double the batch and then do my own thing for the filling. In this pan, I'm frying onions, red peppers, and yellow peppers with, I'm frying it in pork fat. And the spice that I have on there is this Tex-Mex seasoning from the Silk Road in Edmonton. I wanted to say that pork fat might be an alarm. It might be an alarming thing to some people thinking, oh my gosh, she's cooking in pork fat. Pork fat is one of the best things that you can cook in. Actually, animal fats are very good to cook and fry in and animal fats are not bad for you. Contrary to popular opinion that's out there right now, they're actually wonderful for you and your body has a great need for them. So I do fry things in pork fat if I have it on hand and commonly we do because my parents raised pigs over the last year and we got our own pig done. So we commonly do have pork fat around. So I, I fry lots. Of okay, so I'm just reading the directions. <laughs> And I was supposed to bake those, the biscuit part <clears throat> before I put the filling in. So they were supposed to be baked, then you're supposed to add the filling, then put it back in the oven. So I didn't do that. Now everything's all together in the oven. I do not know what's going to happen here. You know what? This is why, folks, we definitely shouldn't um, try and vlog on recipes that we've never even done before, especially when you're in a rush. It's a good learning experience. Okay, so here they are just cooking away in the oven. Not sure exactly when to pull them out. Um, 
kind of worried they're gonna explode. And my morning so far, earlier I did wanna tell you about my morning, I just didn't get the opportunity to film it. So um, from 5.30 till eight, I worked on a, a client protocol and then and then I had a workout. Me and Caleb had a workout together and then Noah was in the Jolly Jumper. So it was like family time, workout time. And I read a little bit of devotionals and did my scriptures and prayers. And then I went right into the recipe, um, which I just showed you. So I just caught you all up. Like, Okay, so tonight for supper, like I said, I have pork chops in my slow cooker with a pork Memphis rub on there from the Silk Road in Edmonton. And then I also have a green salad that I'm making as well. So, so far in the green salad, it's just green leaf lettuce chopped up and green onions. And then I have artichokes in this bowl here. I did two cans of these whole artichokes. And then I added some olive oil and some Greek seasonings in there. And then I'm going to add feta and olives. Here are my pork chops. They look like a little bit like they shriveled up to nothing. Usually I bake them, but that's okay. They'll still be tasty. And I am making a salsa, not to go with supper necessarily, but um, just I had some old, jala not jalapeno peppers, some type of pepper that Caleb bought that was going bad. So I am boiling those with tomatoes and a red pepper to make a homemade salsa. And for dressing, I just did a freshly squeezed lemon and then a little bit of avocado oil and salt. Okay, so this morning so far, I woke up at five and I worked on client protocols for two hours and then I had a workout. I did the bike for 10 minutes and just some stretching. Um, it wasn't anything too vigorous, but I did get it done anyhow. And then I did my devotionals. I'm currently reading uh, the devotional book Into His Presence by Charles Stanley. So this morning we focused on humility, um, which I'm really looking forward to learning more about that and how to be more humble. Um, for supplements so far, I just did, I did my probiotic right in the morning when I woke up. I did lemon water, did my lemon water, and then I took some maca. So later in the day, I will do my chlorella and my Estra Smart Plus slash, um, Cycle Smart. Just about to do two supplement orders, one, uh, Lorna Vanderhaeg from Body Plus and, uh, from Vitazen Professional as well. Okay, so I just finished my order quickly for Body Plus Lorna Vanderhaeg. So I ordered four bags of regular girl fiber and then four boxes of regular girl fiber, which are the single, there's 30 single packets within the box. I ordered four of those. And then I ordered two um, raspberry magnesiums and two lemon lime magnesiums. And then I ordered Cycle Smart as well, again, which is formerly Estro Smart Plus with Vitex. Okay, I just finished my Vitazan order. So what I ordered was organic MCT powder, which I've never ordered before. I just want to try it. Um, children's probiotic powder. I ordered a couple of those. Acidophilus supreme with caprylic acid. So probiotic with also the yeast buster caprylic acid in there. Probiotic intensity. That is a probiotic that's not just for replenishing the gut flora, but it's also for helping to um, heal and seal the gut lining for more like leaky gut issues. Digestive Enzymes Plus, I ordered. That's a really strong, potent digestive enzyme. Um, I suggest that all the time. I personally take it. A huge fan of digestive enzymes. Um, maca, so for hormonal balance, for energy, it's an adaptogen. Um, lots of good stuff surrounding maca. And ber berberine hydrochloric acid, which I have never ordered before. I was just recently reading about it for gut health and killing um, pathogenic bacteria within the gut. So I'm going to go ahead and try that as well. I just finished up inside with a discovery session call and now I'm outside. I'm about to go feed my chickens. I'm going to run down to the bins and get some oats for my chickens and then I'm going to feed my cats and take the garbages and the compost out. That's my plan. It is a really beautiful day. Spring is in the air. My kitty cats are ready for their food. Oh. Let's go get some food. 
So for a late lunch today, it's about 3.30, I am having these soft boiled eggs. And this is what's left over from those attempted uh, breakfast biscuits. So essentially yesterday, Caleb and I just ate off the tops of those breakfast biscuits, like the eggy part, and then there was so much dough left over. It was just a mess. Anyways, I am trying to utilize those with this here. It was pretty dry, so I added some of this Air Days salsa to it. I swear I do know how to cook gluten-free. I will show you. This plant in my kitchen window is blooming. I don't actually know the name of this plant. If you know the name of it, put it in the comments. It was given to me by a friend. I just love it. It's so beautiful. These are some of my other plants. This one here. This one here. Garlic. Candle and I am attempting to grow cilantro. I'll just share a couple other snacks I had today. I had two apples and I had two tahini bombs, which I made from scratch. It was just tahini, coconut oil, a little bit of salt, vanilla, and maple syrup that I put in silicone molds and then put into the freezer. So I had a couple of those little tahini bombs and then I actually had a few tablespoons of tahini just right out of the jar. Um, and I think that's been all so far. And I'm gonna show you what that tahini looks like. This is the tahini that I got. I got this at Walmart. So tahini is sesame seed paste. I just love this stuff. Okay, so tonight for supper, I made a green salad with elk meat on the top. So there's iceberg lettuce in there, shredded carrot, cucumber, green onions, uh, elk meat that I put in the slow cooker with a Chicago steak spice. And then I made a homemade Caesar dressing as well, which I was just gonna quickly show you. I have this on my blog, I'll link it below so you have the exact recipe, but it is super easy. Do not be intimidated to make your own Caesar salad dressing or your own salad dressings in general. They're very easy and fast. So I encourage you to try that. Um, you need an immersion blender heads up. That's the Caesar salad dressing, not much left. Um, I also did some green beans. Oh, I actually saved the bag to show you. So these are the green beans that I purchased from Costco. They are in the frozen section. Um, it's such a good deal. This bag is, I think about $9 and you, it's just a monster bag, two kg and they're organic. The texture is fantastic. They're such a good deal. I always keep two bags of these in my freezer at all times and we just eat a ton of them. So what I did was I fried onions with um, this toasted sesame oil. I fried onions and garlic and then I added the green beans and then I also added this Kiko Manin soy sauce. And that was my supper. Hey guys, good morning. This morning I've just been working on creating recipe booklets using the meal planning service provider called That Clean Life which I love, very easy to use, and I will show you what that platform looks like in the future, but just wanted to let you know what I'm up to for now. Woke up at five and I have been working ever since. It's just about eight and I'm gonna wrap things up here and get ready and start my day. Okay, Friday morning here. I'm just gonna catch you up on what I ate yesterday. I didn't really touch base. Um, I was on the road yesterday and so I totally ate some road food. Do not judge me. Um, I had uh, apples and pecans for the snacks that I packed. So I had some apples and pecans, a couple apples. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, I had a rotisserie chicken that you can get those pre-made ones from like Freezing Bros or IGA, Costco um, that are like 11 bucks. I ate a little bit on that. It was disappointing and dry, so I didn't eat uh, as much as I wanted to on it. Um, then I got uh, an Uncle Burger in the lettuce wrap uh, with fries. Um, the, le the, lettuce, the lettuce burger was delicious. Very, very good, but hard, hard to eat, like gets all over your face a little bit but delicious nonetheless. And then later on in the day, I also got um, Dairy Queen chicken fingers and honey mustard, but I didn't get fries that time. And then um, family supper that evening, I had burger, um, again, it was a bunless burger, and then some rice, like some whole grain rice and a salad. And that was my eating day yesterday. Mom. 
morning coffee. Shopping in Edmonton. I just got a juice from Walmart. I'm excited Walmart carries these freshy juices now and they also carry these freshy kombuchas too. So I got two kombuchas and two juices. Okay, we're outfit shopping at Ricky's right now. Um, I absolutely love Ricky's. I love the service at Ricky's. Love the service. Um, I would never pick these things out, but I do like them. Well, I, I'd pick out the skirt. I'd never pick out this top, but I do actually really like it. I'm gonna try it on in black. Okay, different outfit, top and blazer. I know obviously I wouldn't wear it with my Lululemon tights. What do we think of this? What do we think, what do we think, what do we think? Fashion is not my gig. It's not my gig. Not sure about this one. I don't know. I got uh, quite a bit of clothing from Ricky's. I was so thankful that there was a lady there that helped me so much. And I love that about Ricky's. I feel like they have amazing service. For someone who actually wants help shopping and wants help putting together outfits, Ricky's has been my favorite place to do that. Like really, really great service. She was helping me put together the outfits and grabbing different things and grabbing sizes. She was totally on top of it. And I was so thankful. She did a great job. So I got uh, some different clothing from Ricky's. Then I went to Bootlegger and I found myself a pair of jeans and got a coat on sale for 25 bucks. And then I went to Walmart. I'm going to try a breast pump. It's been eight months so far. I have not used one, but I just got the Lassino double pump. So I'm going to start trying that as well. This juice is so good. This is carrot, apple, beet, lemon, ginger. So, so delicious. 25 grams of sugar, 24 grams. It's a little high in sugar, but I am happy to have that much sugar for a fresh pressed juice. This is one of the kombuchas that I got that I'm going to give a whirl. Morning coffee. Good morning. Happy morning coffee and getting ready for the day. Just showing you my hormonal acne. So I've been on the EstroSmart. It's not called that anymore. It's called CycleSmart. I've been on that for about a week now. And this is the other side. Let's see here. That side's doing better. So I shared in a previous video that I'm struggling a little bit with some hormonal acne. So I had my son eight months ago and the acne didn't come until about a month and a half ago. Um, I know it's hormonal because of where it's coming in here, just like straight here. It's like this long and then this long. It doesn't look as bad this morning. Like I already have a cover up on. I should have showed you just a little bit earlier, but you can see in a previous video just like how inflamed it, how inflamed it is sometimes and how bad it is. But, um, and I'm not complaining. I know people have it so much worse. I'm just sharing this experience. So, um, I'm taking Cycle Smart by Lorna Vanderhaeg. Um, which I've taken in the past and it's worked really good for PMS and tender breasts and I, I really feel like it should help this hormonal acne. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, I'm going to show you lashes before and after. So I commonly get asked, well not commonly, but I've been asked lots if my eyelashes are fake and they are not. And I just want to show you, this is the mascara that I use and I've been using this for a decade. I wanted to just share that I've been wanting to vlog well, make videos since 2014, or maybe even end of 2013 when I first heard about the paleo diet. Sorry, I'm not gonna try and multitask. I'm gonna share this thought, and then I'm gonna continue listening to my audiobook and getting ready so that I'm not trying to do two things at once and doing a bad job at both of them. This is just what I wanted to share. Um, I, okay, I've been wanting to do videos since like 2013, 2014, when I first heard about the paleo diet, um, and, but all I ever do is plan it. In my journals, I write, um, about the, the dream that I have to do videos, to do vlogging, to, to teach people about nutrition. And it's only, it's like alive in these journals and then I don't actually do it. It's like always sometime in the future, always. Um, it's just incredible. I can't believe how much time has passed and I haven't actually done it. Even though in my mind I know that I'm going to do it, but it's like, it's, it's a future thing, it's a future thing, it's a future thing. And so I'm finally starting and I'm so excited that I'm finally starting but it's just incredible that it really has been that long. It's been six or seven years of just dreaming about it and planning it and never actually doing it. And so I just wanted to share that, that it's been a really long time and I'm finally doing it and I'm super excited. And if you're watching this, thanks for watching. Um, leave me a comment and let me know you're here. Um, that's all for now, I'm gonna keep getting ready. I got the lashes done. Now I have to do 
my least favorite part, and that is trying to get my eyebrows on there to match. I just hate doing eyebrows. I really gotta get them. Oh, gotta get them tattooed on. Bye for now. Sunday morning. Getting ready. Veggies frying for scrambled eggs, bacon, banana flax pancakes, cream spinach salad with cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and peppers, and a honey mustard type dressing. Hey guys, so that's everything that I wanted to share with you from the video. I'm not totally sure how you bring the vlog to a close, so I'm just going to hop on here and say goodbye personally. Um, I wanted to share too, I know in the filming I cut my head off several times there and I just learned recently that when you're vlogging with your iPhone you're supposed to do it horizontally not vertically so for the future I will uh, make sure I don't do that anymore um let me know in the comments your favorite part from the vlog what you enjoyed um I would just love to hear a comment from you if you watched it um thank you for watching and I will see you in the next vlog bye for now